Resource officers patrolling the halls of Bacon Academy, and this one's got four legs and a wagging tail. And adorable, we can say that, <laughs> yes. it's safe to say. <laughs> Channel 3's Renee Danino went to the campus to see the impact canine officer Skipper is making. Hi, it's me, Renee Danino, your resident animal lover. There's a new kid in town at Bacon Academy in Colchester, and we're going to introduce you to Officer Skipper. Hi, Skipper. You going to go to school? Officer Skipper and School Resource Officer Corporal Craig Shield tackle each day with positivity and kindness. Good morning. Good morning. Skipper joins the growing number of community policing dogs at various police departments around the state, trained by Puppies Behind Bars, an organization that trains prison inmates to raise service dogs for wounded war veterans and first responders, police departments, as well as explosive detection canines for law enforcement. So does Corporal Scheel think Skipper's making a difference already? Absolutely. I think I'm much more approachable, and now students have a reason to come talk to me other than report in a crime or a concern. Students come up to me just to interact with Skipper and say hello, and that's very nice. Corporal Scheel has been in law enforcement for 12 years and enjoying his first year as a school resource officer with his first four-legged partner. They start their day welcoming the kids to school, making sure the school is safe, and then various duties come into play. Well, we typically help with traffic in the mornings and the afternoon. We do classroom visits. Uh, I'm a, the SRO for grades K through 12, so we'll go visit the kindergartners, we'll go visit the fourth graders, we'll go to the middle school. Um, and sometimes we just walk the halls here at Bacon. And the students are all in. The National Honor Society and Student Council are even holding a fundraiser to ensure Officer Skipper stays at their school. So we're selling gift baskets um, to raise money for food and beds to make it a comfortable space for him. Raffle to take him to prom for a junior and senior prom, which is pretty cool. They're even trying to raise enough money for a temperature sensor for the police car. For calls that I can't stay in the car with Skipper, if he needs to stay in the car unattended, um, we need to install a temperature sensor. And if the temperature inside the car gets too hot, it'll set off an alarm, roll the windows down, and make sure that Skipper stays safe. Community policing and police service dogs are a unique and great way to create a connection with people in law enforcement. I love having Officer Skipper here. My uncle was a police officer and his canine dog Zeus was always there as like a familiar face for me. So Skipper has just been a friendly face I can see every day along with Officer Shield. It's really a good experience to see him in the halls. Everybody stops and pets him whenever they walk by. Bacon Academy's assistant principal Amy Begu suggests this creates a great environment where where students feel safe, connected, and ready to learn and grow. Because at Bacon Academy, we had some tragic losses this fall in our school community. So some kids were really suffering and really hurting. So to have Officer Skipper here full time with us, really just, you know, you see the kids smile. It really is such a benefit to our school community. And just like the students of Bacon Academy, their Officer Skipper had to go to school too. And he's trained to be a support animal for everybody from domestic violence victims to juveniles to people having a mental health crisis. And so he can go and he can respond and support those people when they're in need. SRO Shield and Officer Skipper make everyone's day a bit brighter with every wag of Officer Skipper's tail. For Channel 3 Eyewitness News and The River 105.9, I'm Renee Danino.